Welcome to Distributed and Cloud Computing Subject. I am Mele Raja, Assistant Professor, Department of IT, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. This session, we are going to talk about the group communication in distributed system. That is, how the communication is taken place in the distributed system to achieve the objectives of the distributed system. One of the major objectives is synchronization. So for that purpose, how the group, group communication is going to help to achieve the uh, synchronization in distributed system, right? Let me start with the outcome of this uh, session. Uh, the learner will be able to understand the distributed system communication mechanisms and they will acquire knowledge of group communication in distributed system and they will keep the deep understanding the various types of group communications and the, they will know the essential features of group communication. So these are the things we are going to learn from this topic. In this uh, first uh, thing, we want to understand the distributed system. As you can see this diagram, the number of independent computers are connected with each other through a communication network. So they may be having their own memory and processing power. Even then, if they want to share the, the data or share the resources, with the help of the distributed system software, they may be able to uh, do that, uh, all those uh, things. The next, uh, we want to understand what is communication mechanism followed here in distributed uh, systems. So the first one is message passing. As we know that message passing is a popular communication model. Simply the systems, that is independent computers are going to exchange the message uh, in the form of uh, data or instructions. In the message passing, we have our two kind of uh, message passing. One is synchronous message passing and asynchronous message passing. The synchronous message passing, in the sense, the sender has to wait to send the next message until the receiver sends the acknowledgement, sends the acknowledgement for the previous message. That's what the synchronous message passing. Until and otherwise, the receiver sends acknowledgement, the sender will not send the second message. That is first one. Second one, asynchronous message passing. So asynchronous message passing, the sender sends continuously to the receiver without worrying about or without waiting for the response from the receiver. So whenever the receiver receives the message, it will send the acknowledgement, but the sender won't wait for the acknowledgement to receive in this side. The second type of uh, communication mechanism followed here in the distributed system is remote procedure call. So we know that the RPC, that is remote uh, procedure call is a communication method or a methodology where a node can invoke a procedure or method uh, on a remote server as it is the local procedure call. So generally here the abstraction will be taken place like RPC uh, will send the request message to the server, server will process the request and it will send the response to the client. This is what the remote uh, procedure call a kind of mechanism. The third one is a publish subscribe messaging uh, concept. So this uh, publish subscribe messaging is a pattern where a publisher publishes the or send the message to the central broker. So there will be an intermediate will be there. there. So the intermediate will uh, receive the publishing message from the sender and uh, the subscriber that is the receiver we are going to act as uh, or we are going to tell about the subscriber so the subscriber express the interest of the specific type of messages so now the broker can uh, route the messages to the interested subscribers from the sender so here uh, we are not having any direct uh, communication in between uh, the sender and the receiver in between that um, there is one intermediate called uh, broker so the broker will do all those uh, uh, procedure to uh, send the message from the sender to uh, receiver the third one sorry fourth one is a distributed shared memory that is dsm here in this dsm communication model where multiple nodes in the particular uh, common network may share a global memory space here the nodes can read and write the shared memory which allow them to communicate and exchange the data 
indirectly okay so directly they are not uh, communicate with each other but indirectly they are uh, uh, communicating with uh, each other the last one is peer to peer communication so the peer to peer communication is each node will communicate other node directly which means uh, the nodes in the particular uh, communication network may act as a sender and a receiver accordingly whenever the particular node wants to send a message at the time it will act as a client the receiver will act as a server so this kind of uh, communication are taking place uh, in the peer to peer communication so these five mechanisms generally followed in the distributed system so we want to understand what is group communication okay so the communication between two process in a distributed system is required to exchange various data such as no code or a file or between the process so when one process tries to communicate something with uh, multiple process so that's why or that's where we are called as the group communication so group is nothing but a collection of interconnected process with the abstractions abstraction is means hiding the message passing so group communication also helps the process from different host to work together and perform operation in a synchronized manner so generally the group communication we have to understand the group communication may be taken place within the system in the form of different process or within the distributed system uh, by exchanging the messages from the different host there is a different autonomous computer you see the types of group communication generally uh, used here in the group uh, distributed system uh, starts with the unicast communication multicast communication and broadcast communications let me see one by one unicast there will be one to one communication one to many that is a designated group okay not all the process broadcast communication we have a the number of or a multiple or even every nodes in the particular network or every process in the particular distributed system so here uh, like a uh, radio uh, telecommunication or radio communication uh, the, they are uh, broadcasting the contact and uh, the receiver will automatically receive when it is having the sufficient uh, receiver capability as far as uh, uh, the broadcast communication it, it requires only the uh, less processing power so that uh, communication is very fast compared with the other communication methods we have seen as a unicast broadcast and multicast there are number of essential features is there in the uh, group communication one is atomicity so atomicity in the sense all or nothing when a message is sent to the group it will either arrive correctly at all members of the group or at none of them when the sender is sending the message to the number of receivers if all the receivers that is atoms in this all the receivers are going to be receive all the messages otherwise none of the receivers are going to be receive even a single messages then uh, the second uh, property or a future is ordering that is fifo ordering messages originating from a given sender are delivered in the order they have been sent to all the members of the group so whatever order they are following from the sender to receiver so all those receivers will receive the message in the same order only the order will not be several uh, ordering when several messages from different senders are sent to a group messages reaches all the members of the group in the same order that is total ordering and uh, finally we have concluding this uh, topic we have seen about the communication mechanism there is different communication message mechanism like message passing remote procedure call publish subscriber uh, kind of message that is five kind of communication methods we have seen in the distributed system and about the group communication in various types and also we have discussed about the essential features of the group communication you can have a uh, references these are all the references i have uh, gone through for uh, preparing this uh, video as well as ppt Okay thanks for watching thank you